to your beginning of the month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and welcome back Libra. And welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. Got quite a few new subscribers. So, okay guys, let's get in here and see what is going on with you. We are using the Life Purpose Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Nice, nice, beautiful deck we have going on here. So, yes, grab into a deck we haven't used in a long time. So, let's see what's going on with you in this beautiful September month. Getting after that, uh, whoa, what a month it was last month, right? But we do still have some auspicious things. Guys, if you have not watched the Astro Dice reading, it is a small horoscope that talks about what is going on with you using only one of the, of the 12 houses. But it does give you kind of a breakdown in that house. Um, and also explains everything that's auspicious going on. Um, so let's see. This message going on over here. Give it to us. Using this beautiful life purpose cards. We do have the builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Wow. Ugh, just setting the tone for that new moon that we have going on in Virgo. I mean, you know, it's just like, you know what, I'm going to build these seeds. You guys are on this kind of like eye, eye on the prize situation. As you can see, he's looking out there going, hey, what good is it that I can do? And I feel that that's exactly what you're doing, right? You're just like, I can do this. This is what I want. Um, we do have, you know, this card is a card of encouragement to explore new ways to be a builder, you can build a successful business from scratch or your inner guidance may direct you to build muscles as you get more involved with physical fitness. The sense of accomplishment you receive from building something is your soul's reward. So definitely loving that. But you can see he's looking out there, right? He's looking out there. It's almost like you guys are looking out there going, okay, what is it that I'm missing, right? What is it that I'm missing from this situation? And, you know, like I said in that new moon video, guys, if you have not watched that, you want to go ahead and watch it. We still have a few days for that portal to be open to plant those seeds. But it's kind of like also, you know, if my intention didn't go right, what is it that I'm missing? What is it that I can re-evaluate through this situation so I can get exactly what it is I truly want, right? Really showcasing your skills. Um, really putting in new responsibilities for projects, taking yourself to that next level, right? Really building up what it is you truly want. Let's get some tarot on that and see what is going on. Best message is coming out for the beautiful Libra. Best message, please, is look at that. Yes, diligence working diligently, looking at um, what it is I can truly build, having that skill development, having that positive attitude, really appreciating what it is you truly have and working hard for that. So definitely, you know, you're putting in a lot of, uh, I'm going to say yourself. <laughs> I mean, what better way to say it? You're putting a lot of yourself into everyday projects, right? You're giving it all. Everything you have, you're giving it. So let's get straight into the situation and see exactly what's going on. Give us the information that's needed for the beautiful Libra. Yes. Absolutely trying to keep balance within the situation. Next card coming out, a Queen of Swords. Ooh. Well, we like the Queen of Swords... For you, on your area, right? Because it's saying, I am independent, I'm clear-minded, I'm looking for this new perspective. But I also feel like if you have someone around you, they could be a bit of a challenge for you. Okay? You're holding tight to what it is you truly want. Give us the next cards, please. Clarify on those cards for us. What is going on? Power, Nine of Cups, Judgment, Ooh. what you don't see coming is the world. Wow, that's a huge shift in balance again. 
there's like a lot of balance, a lot of shift going on. Okay. So, now, you know, it's, it's beautiful reading. There's nothing bad here. The only thing that gets a little worrisome is that Queen of Swords. That Queen of Swords, because it's almost like maybe they're not seeing what it is you truly desire. Um, they couldn't. They may just not be as helpful towards your goal or towards whatever it is you're looking for. There could be lack of compassion when it comes to the Queen of Swords because it's more of a head over heart situation. Same with the, you know, the uh, King of Swords as well, right? They're more in control of their thinking and logic more than their emotions. So you could feel like they're a little cold, a little over direct than you would like them to be at this time. I think you are trying to keep a little balance with them. Um, but I, you know, it just feels like they're not on the same page with you. I think they could be a little more compassionate. I think you think that as well. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a coworker, you know, someone in the home, uh, whoever this person is. It just feels like, and maybe they're a little judgmental towards your desires because it's sitting right under, you know, excuse me, right over your nine of cups. So it's saying, I don't know. But I do like that it's squaring off kind of over here on both sides of the judgment and the tower because it's literally saying well maybe i just need to take a step back right from this situation and gather myself right you're going to gather yourself you're having a little bit of a challenge mode uh, challenge mode but you're also having this sudden change going around you but i think a lot of the sudden change is perspective because of the queen of swords so I, that's why i'm saying i think you're also the queen of swords in a lot of ways being that that's air in your air to where you're kind of like getting, you know, you're getting clear about the situation. Your clarity is opening up, especially with the judgment here. So it's kind of like I step back from the situation, gather yourself, looking at the change, keeping your eye on the prize, right? Looking at everything around you, keeping yourself balanced in the secure area. There's a lot of balance over here and you needing to keep yourself balanced. We see balance here. This can also be a grounded balance card as well in its own way. And of course, this is you saying, I am keeping myself as balanced as possible. But it's also talking about this judgment call, which is crazy because this is saying they may be judgmental towards you, but yeah, you're going to have this eye opening awareness of this kind of judgment that's being pushed at you. So, but then you have this tower here, which is changing your perspective, right? So it's not always just, you know, bad for you. This is actually going to be, this tower is needed. It's good for you, right? It's, it's the universe saying, no, 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 you need this so that you can build, so you can look at whatever it is that you might be missing. And if it has something to do with this person, everything's going to balance itself out. So you need that. It's actually going to push you harder to want to achieve this Nine of Cups, right? So this clarity over here that you're getting is really waking you up and really freeing you from the problem, from the staleness, from the not getting to the goal um, that you're looking for. And it's bringing in a healthier perspective and, and it's really bringing in this total enlightenment. There's a total enlightenment over here. This is an awakening, excuse me, an awakening. And this is an awakening. And this is for the completion. You know, this is like the end goal. This is like, okay, so I've shifted. I've shifted into this enlightenment. I keep my eye on the prize and I see what's going on. I know how to now fulfill this. Some of you are traveling too. Just gonna bring that out of nowhere. Um, so it, it, your your travel looks really good. Um, but uh, but there is also going to be some adaptability that's going to weigh on you with the two of Pentacles because it's saying whatever we're gonna attain, remember there's going to have to be adjustments. So there is something that you're going to have to adjust to. Okay for this huge awareness and transformation. But I think, you know, in the end, it's good because it's saying you focus on your teamwork. You focus on the, the whatever it is the prize is. I'm just going to leave it as the prize, whatever your goal is. Everybody's goal is different, whether it's a love situation, 
a work and career situation, whatever it is you are building, right, it's saying that this is favorable, you know, at this time also to learn these new skills. Maybe you have to go back to school. Maybe somebody's like, you're crazy. You're too old to go back to school. You're never too old to go back to school. That's a weird way of thinking, right? But you'll also have a lot of feedback to help improve your performance. But I think a lot of the feedback um, could literally, you know, be your higher awareness, your perspective. Because as you're changing this, it's like you're getting all this intuitions coming in and you're getting these aha moments. And this is you're going to enhance your career prospects, your love prospects. It's going to keep you proactive so that you can really seize the day and really seize those opportunities. Like I said, yeah, you're going to have to juggle some new perspectives. You're going to have to juggle some new things. You might have to change the routine around to be, you know, more adaptable to whatever it is you're looking for. But, you know, otherwise, I don't see that you're going to have a problem like that. Okay? I don't see the problem. Right? You're, you're going to be fine adapting. Let's see what else is going on, guys. I love that. I see that, you know, it's, it's, it's something that you really are looking for. This is the, the breakthrough that's going to lead you to not only winning as you're shifting, but also new things that are coming out. Yeah. King of Pentacles, Wealth and Business. Yeah, watch out for this person. It could be a home conflict. Be careful of that. Or somebody jealous of something you're doing or just not on the same page with you. Could be a little what you would consider like self-centered kind of, you know, uh, behavior. But your courage is amazing and your focus is and determination is right where you need to be. Avoid impulsive spending, though. I see that here as well. I mean, you have two pinnacles together. You have the king of pinnacles with the queen of pinnacles in reverse. So it's like avoid overspending. Avoid anything impulsive when it comes to spending. You want to save, right, money. You want to save for your future goals. You want to make those investments now. Right now is a great time for investments. Okay, because you're going to, you know, have a huge breakthrough if you start investing now. Yeah. Page of Cups, I mean, you know, like, like I said, and then the end here, what you don't see is the Page of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. Wow, and the sun. Jeez. So it's like everything you're working towards, you're planting those seeds now so that you can receive those in the future, so that you will have that future celebration. You will see everything improving as your financial standing improves itself or your love improves itself. A lot of you, this is, a, this is really career. Um, I, I see that more and more because of the money. There's just so much money. Um, I really think that whatever you're planning over here, you know, there's just going to be this really wise financial plan that comes to you or you hear it from somebody else. Um, could be a Gemini, could be a Sagittarius or a Scorpio, but it's almost like whatever you're, you're pushing towards on this path, you're making this path more solid for yourself in which you're going to receive the blessings and feel all of that come to you. And don't tell me you're not going to receive the blessings. These are two cards of receiving plus the blessing. So you have the happy, you know, this is a big happy surprise. This is where you're noticing everything's coming together. You're getting the messages that you need. You're seeing all the possibilities start coming at you, right? And then you have what you're manifesting. You're seeing this new skill, skill development. You're feeling very ambitious about this situation. Could be news again. So you, you could have two messengers coming through you who's offering you this job, who's offering you this, you know, um, this money, this uh, financial career, um, this breakthrough. Um, it might even be love. You might be getting love and money. Holy shit. 
Yeah, you definitely could be getting love and money. Because the Page of Cups could be offering you love. And the Page of Pentacles, a new job. So you definitely could be getting love and money. Or, you know, maybe that Queen of Swords over here has changed their ways, right? And they're now giving you out that compassion that you're like, wow, you know, where was your sensitivity towards me? Um, and now it's coming through. Um, then that's a huge possibility. We will know when as soon as I pull on that for just a second. I'm going to pull some cards on that because I want to know if that's the Page of Cups coming out. If that person's actually going to change around from their cool direct, you know, direct communication and saying, hey, you know what, I'm going to be more sensible. I'm going to be a little more compassionate. I'm going to open up my heart to the situation. I see where you're coming from. Maybe they'll have a great awakening, right? Um, and then, of course, you have the blessing. I mean, the warmth, the sun, the happiness, the celebration. So it's like whatever you're researching, whatever you're committing to, it's like it's this breakdown, but it's definitely building. This is a card of building the foundation. So you're definitely building the foundations or reworking those foundations for more solid ground. Let's grab a couple cards over here. I want to see that just for a second, guys. I want to know what's going on with that Queen of Swords. I do say it's you looking at the perspective of this person like, wow, really? You know, like, really? Seriously? You're going to be that cold? You know? Now, she's not in reverse. So it's not like she's cold and calculating. Right? She's just showing that she has a bias, you know, an unbiased... Uh, she's actually just being... Very cool. Okay, and direct. And yes, a little bias about what's going on towards you. Okay, I'm sorry. It is. You can feel it. It's like, you know, it's like, I, I would like to be a little more compassionate. A little more helpful would be nice. You know, it's kind of crazy. It's like, instead of opening your heart and feeling from the compassionate side, it's more like you're being really direct and kind of telling you this is the way it's going to be. That's not what you need. You need someone that's helpful that's like, yeah, okay, here, let me help you, and I can see it from your perspective, and let me do this. And No, they're like dead straight. This is the way it is. If you think that's going to, you know, work, you know, you really need to look at those calculations. Right, so it's it's kind of like, but you're not seeing it from the side that I am looking at. So it's making you overthink the situation because they're not being very helpful. So what are they doing? Ten of Pentacles to the Hierophant. Yeah, absolutely. They're moving against the grain when it comes to your commitments. When you're when it comes to what it is you're looking at, you're looking at the Ten of Pentacles, your career, your job. Um, what it is you're trying to build over here, your achievements, and they're just really against the grain. They're like, this is this is not the way it works. Yeah, I kind of felt that. Okay, so Eight of Pentacles. Well, okay. Hold on. Eight of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands. Wow. If this is a love situation, it's definitely going downhill because this love person is not on your side. And this deck, the Eight of Wands, should be hot, sexy. I'm on fire. Hello. Here I am. Um, and it's in reverse saying there's just not enough passion. Just not enough passion to keep this going. So if this is a love situation, it's definitely... Um, the flame is going out, but they're putting it out. They're putting it out because they're not helping. They're not you know, investing their love and their help towards what it is you want. It's like they're standing on the guideline, you know, on the sidelines, excuse me, and they're just kind of like, mm, I don't see that. And it's like, wow, you don't see my dreams coming true? You don't, you don't want to be there to help me and guide me? No, so they're causing the tower, but after the tower comes the sun. Oh, shit, but we have that. But that's okay, though, because remember what I said. The tower is needed for the sun because it's going to change. It's going to be that total enlightenment that you need because that's going to be that sudden change, sudden shift in revelation of you understanding, oh, okay, you know what? I'll do it for myself. So all that's going to push you towards really over here, Libra, is saying, I don't need your help anymore then. I really don't care what you think. See, I might have, you know... For some reason, it felt like you really wanted them there. You really wanted them on your side. Of course, we all want everybody on our sides when it comes to our dreams. But now they're showing and proving to you they don't want that or they don't think that's ever going to happen to you. So it's all negative. So now you're going to push away from that and you're going to say, well, then I don't, need your, I don't need your judgment. 
I don't need your ideas. I don't need anything from you. You just believe what you believe, and I'm going to believe what I want to believe. And that actually makes you win. Because the Empress comes out with the Ace of Pentacles, with the Ten of Wands. Well, you got the Ten of Wands, yeah, because it's still going to hurt. Because they were never with you. They never gave you what it is that you need. Now, it does look like, though, that they do kind of come back and give you kind of this... You know, it's kind of crazy. I think they have, I think they're more curious. God, you know, you know, now that we kind of look at it really together, we're asking, what is the Page of Cups doing? Are they being more sensitive? Yes, they are being a little more sensitive, but you know why they're sensitive? Because of curiosity. Curiosity. You start winning and they're going to, what did you do, Libra? They're more curious. This is more of a sensitivity that they're going to push out that's more about curiosity. Could be dealing with a Leo. Curiosity's got them. Could be a fire sign for sure. Yeah, three of pentacles. Now they see they do. Three of pentacles on the page of cups. They want to work with you because you've caught their curiosity. They want to know how you got this opportunity. They want to know how did you struggle through this? How did you get this? When I told you this was a far-fetched dream, and that you would need a miracle to do so. How did you do that? Well, faith. How about that? How about just faith? Faith in itself. So, yeah, they're going to kind of look like a fool because they do it to themselves because they didn't have enough faith in you. That's sad, though, if you think about it. Why? Then you have to ask themselves, is it because they only didn't have any faith in themselves or is it because you're so egomatic that you believe you can only be at the top? Now we have to ask those questions. That's going to be a personal question. That's going to be personal. That's going to be very personal because you're going to look at this person and say, you were either too egomatic to believe that you could only be at the top and I could never rise that high, so you downplayed me, or you never had the type of faith that I possess to make it to the top just because you can't do it doesn't mean I can't do it. So now you have to ask yourself that question. Those are a part of personal readings, right? Because it's going to be one way or the other. But definitely that's, that's what it is. And it puts you on a fool's journey. But it's kind of crazy because the, the fool in reverse on top of the page of cups is literally saying they're acting a fool, right? Because the, the whole way that they're acting over here by not having any compassion or any sensitivity towards the situation really shows how foolish they are. It's only foolish because, well, like I said before, it's either because you're too egomatic to think you can only do it or because you can't do it, I can't do it. That's ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. My beautiful Libra. You guys got this, though, and you're going to sit in your own power. Look at that. Look at that. And the Ten of Wands, don't let that be a downfall for you. Ten of Wands just says, you know what? Yeah, you know what? It, you know, you kind of killed it. You kind of killed it. And I know you want the curiosity. I know you want to, like, kind of come back and show me a little sensitivity, but you kind of killed it and ruined it. Doesn't mean that it has to be dead and over with. It just means that I'm just going to kind of lay that down because it's not worth it. I'm going to let it stay the Ten of Wands. Why? Because after the Ten of Wands comes the Ace of Wands anyways. Right? I'm just going to let it go. Let it die. Didn't kill me. <coughs> Excuse me. So the angels say the situation will improve. Now we know that for a fact. We see that. And boy, is it improving. Okay? For what? Perfect timing, big, happy changes. Wow. Yeah. And keep that positivity alive and going. Right? A year from now, you're not even be the same person. A year from now, everything is going to be so different. Your abundance is going to be so different that, you know, you're going to look back at this video and be like, wow, you know what? If that's how we plant seeds, then let's, let's do it again, right? Your romance won't even be the same. Your money won't be the same. You know, within the next few weeks, your whole life is shifting, my friends. 
into something that is unbelievable. But Spirit says, only if you believe. Now, there goes that faith again. We just forgive them. Now, most of the time, we just forgive them because, well, most of the time, they don't know what they do. They don't understand the consequences. They don't understand the words that they have out of their mouth that is powerful. They don't understand things. So we just, right, we just forgive and move on. And that's why I feel about the Ten of Wands. That's why I said, ah, it's not going to hurt me. I got the I got the sun. I got the ace of pentacles. I got, I'm the empress. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Co-creator. I'm abundant. I'm sitting in my own Venus energy. Yeah. Okay, guys. Beautiful reading. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.